What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center, where today I'm gonna teach you a little bit about how to squeeze the ball. You have to squeeze, you can't not squeeze. But we're gonna talk about squeezing and how to hold the ball in order to be more consistent at the bottom of the swing. Stay tuned. All right, so one of the major things that a lot of people have an issue with is actually squeezing the ball, and we squeeze it too hard. So when you think about squeezing the ball, if this was the ball in my hand, right, like this, right? Most people, this is how they squeeze it. You see how my knuckle is bent in? That's exactly what most people think. So then when we release the ball, we have to release with the thumb for it to roll off of our hand. That's a bad thing, because we could release it here, and the thumb comes off and it rolls off, or we could release it out here and the thumb comes off and rolls off. We want to be as consistent as possible. So if I bring you down a little bit here, don't mind my mess. If I bring you down, what I want to think about is I want to squeeze the opposite way. I want to think of pressing this way, keeping the thumb straight. You see how I can keep my thumb straight here now? And you can still hold on to it. You can still get it to be there. You don't have to bend your thumb in. But when a little bit of momentum goes forward and you actually have the ball coming into the downswing and all the way through the shot, a little momentum takes it all the way off. So if I'm squeezing like this, it doesn't matter how fast I do this, the ball's never coming off. But as soon as I squeeze this way and I get my thumbnail almost going backwards, just a little bit of momentum takes it off my hand. And so now it's gonna be in the same spot every single time. I don't have to worry about it. Again, you don't wanna be squeezing with a death grip. We don't wanna be pulling in like this. We don't wanna squeeze inward because then it's not gonna come off until you actually let it come off and then we let go. So. When you're squeezing the ball, think of pressing that nail. If you have to over-exaggerate it, that's fine. I know you can't see my face right now. It's probably good for you. But if you have to think of over-exaggerating and pressing that nail backwards so that way you don't squeeze and the ball just rolls off, then you can do that. So with all that being said, now you can see me again. I know, shame. But with all that being said, this was a quick little tutorial on how to actually squeeze the ball. So to go over that one more time, do not squeeze like this. Don't press your thumb inward like that for multiple reasons. A, like I said, it's inconsistent. B, you're gonna press that knuckle to the back side of the hole and you're gonna get a lot of rubbing there. I see a lot of people that blister and split up right there. Same thing on the sides. You notice when I do that, the side pops out. So now I'm gonna get some blistering on this side if I'm squeezing too hard. And over time, as my hand swells, which this type of squeeze is going to cause you to, to swell even more and faster, that's going to cause problems on the side. That's how people get the, the big knots and stuff on their thumbs. So keep your thumb straight if you can. So that way when it comes off your hand, it rolls right off and you don't have to do anything special to let go. We're not squeezing and then letting go. We're just having our hand firm this way and the momentum takes the ball off your hand. The momentum takes the ball off your hand or gravity like that. So that's all I got for you. Hope that helps. I'm getting out of here. I gotta clean a mess now. We'll see you guys later.